Welcome back, friends. Today we're going to be talking about an e writing an equation of a line when we're given two points that lie on the line. At this time, we'd like you to open up your binder, find your critical concepts, the L page, and write down the steps for writing the equation of a line when given two points. Pause your video now in order to accomplish this. Go ahead and grab your textbook and open up to page 200. We're going to be doing a couple of these problems from this page together. As your steps already told you, our first job is going to be to calculate m using the formula y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Every ordered pair always has an x value and a y value. x will always be first and y will always be second. This is our first ordered pair so our 7 is going to be our x sub 1 and 15 will be y sub 1. Our second ordered pair will then be x sub 2 with y sub 2 after it. Okay, when we put our values into our formula we're going to have negative 8 minus 15 over negative 39 minus 7. Now, with subtracting integers, I'm always going to turn that into an addition problem by adding the opposite. So that's going to become negative 8 plus negative 15, which is negative 23. In the denominator, that'll give me negative 39 plus negative 7, which is negative 46. Now, both of these are divisible by 23. If I divide both by 23, I'm going to get negative 1 over negative 2. But let's not forget that a negative divided by a negative always turns into a positive. That means my slope is 1 half. All right, now that we know our slope is 1 half, we're going to take the slope and substitute that along with the x and y value from one of the ordered pairs into the y equals mx plus b formula. Now, I'm going to choose the ordered pair 7, 15 because I would prefer to work with positive numbers. However, we could pick either of the two ordered pairs and it will still work. All right, so my y value in the ordered pair is 15. My slope is 1 half times by my x value, which is 7, plus b. All right, now 1 half times 7 gives me 3.5. And I'm going to subtract 3.5 from both sides so I can isolate b. That's going to give me b equals 11.5. Now that I know m and b, I'm going to substitute both of them into my slope-intercept formula. And that'll give me the equation y equals 1 half x plus 7.5. I'm sorry, 11.5. And we're done. Let's go ahead and do problem number two next. Okay, remember our first step is to calculate our slope. I'm going to take my y2 minus my y1 over my x2 minus my x1. And when I subtract, 836 minus 956 gives me negative 120. 249 minus 429 will give me negative 180. When I simplify, I'm going to get negative 12 over negative 18. And don't forget, a negative divided by a negative equals a positive. And last but not least, 12 and 18 are both divisible by 6. So 12 divided by 6 is 2, 
and 18 divided by 6 is 3. My slope is 2 thirds. All right, this time I'm going to go ahead and pick my second ordered pair as my x and y value and use that to substitute those values along with my m into our slope intercept formula. That's going to give me 836 is equal to 2 thirds times my x value, which is 249, plus b. Now when I multiply 2 thirds times 249 over 1, I end up with 166. All right, now I'm going to subtract 166 from both sides canceling those out and I'm going to get B equals 670. All right, now I know my M and my B. I'm going to go ahead and write those into my slope intercept formula. I will get Y equals 2 thirds X plus 670 and we're done. All right, let's just go ahead and do problem number three together. And this one, I'm going to show you a shortcut. You always want to look at both of your ordered pairs very closely. Hopefully you recognize something about this ordered pair. Remember when the x value is 0 and our y value um, is whatever it is, this is our y-intercept point. Okay, so I know now that b is negative 35. So all I need to do is calculate my m and then I can go ahead and write my equation. So m is going to be equal to y2 negative 35 minus y1 19 over x2 0 minus x1 6. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my add opposites negative 35 plus negative 19 gives me negative 54 and 0 plus negative 6 is negative 6. Negative 54 is divisible by negative 6 and that's going to give me 9 or 9 over 1. Okay, now I know my m, I know my b, and I can write my equation. y equals 9x plus negative 35. Some of you may prefer to write that as y equals 9x minus 35. Either way works great for us. All right, friends, your last job is to complete the checkpoint question below. You're going to want to complete this in your math notebook. And when you're done, write, make sure that you write the equation in slope-intercept form. Take that along with your book up to your teacher, get checked in, and get your homework. Good luck and have a great day.